Hi everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, the other day I came on and I showed you this folder that I got from Hobbycraft that Mr Doodle spotted for £5. And I was, <coughs> I'd cut one out and I was colouring them up with my, I can never remember the name, oh, Inca Gold is it? Yeah, with all pretty colours anyway, metallic colours. And I'm just popping back on to show you how far I've got with it, basically. Um, and I'm, I'm really pleased with how it's going. What I've done, I've decided to do an altered CD. I got a CD and I covered it with the black card and put all pretty colours on. I, I put it on both sides of the black card, actually. Because I, I, at that point I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, and then I just went round the edge, sorry, round the edge with the, is it Inca Gold? Am I telling you right? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, with these anyway. You know what I mean, don't you? Um, yeah, I went round the edge of that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I just, I cut them all out. And I... I I know what I'm doing now, but I wanted to come on. I wasn't going to bother coming on until I'd finished it all, but I just I just think it's so pretty, and I was just stood there looking and thinking, I really like that, and it would do for, like, um, like a table decoration to put a candle in the middle or something. I think that would look lovely either way. Um... Yeah, so I just went round it and stuck it on with, I used this glue this time, the Yoohoo Power, because it, these have got ridges in. I thought, it, I didn't know whether my other glue would be strong enough, so, <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. So I stuck it all on with that, and then there was just a little gap in the middle. I mean, I'm going to cover that up anyway, but I just wanted it covered up, so I just, out of one of the leaves, just cut a circle out. Um... So yeah, there's twelve. There's twelve leaves. 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 Not leaves. Feathers. They're feathers. Peacocks don't have leaves. They have feathers. Noodle. <laughs> leaves. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> uh, these things. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I just cut a circle out of one of the feathers. <laughs> Just to cover that up, and then I've got. Oh, I've put it away now, but oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here it is. I've got this that came off one of the magazines. Simply homemade, is it? Or was that the other one? No, I don't know. One of the magazines, anyway. And then on one of the sister magazines, you got the embossing folder and some <coughs> little stamps and that. Oh, God, I'm right croaky this morning. So I've cut my peacock out. And he's got a, a gold body, a bronze body. And I've given him some feathers. I wish I'd cut that bit off there but I just wanted to see as much of the blue as I could I think Penny gave, gave me these blue feathers so thank you Penny and these green ones oh the green ones are beautiful they're what I got from um, the craft show at the NEC a couple of years ago and there was only a pound for about 20 they're, they're so soft I think they're the best feathers I've ever bought the blue one was off of a no purple. <laughs> I'm all back to front this morning. That was from eBay. And then the sequins. I was I, I decided that I just wanted to leave the the bird's body and the main bit. Well, even on this tail, I was just going to leave it in the the bronze copper. And then I remembered that Fran. Had Fran Glins Glink. I would never get your name right. Is it Glinsky or Glinksky? <laughs> Fran, anyway, she sent me these beautiful sequins in some happy mail. It was in a pocket letter. 
and they were just the right colour so I stuck those on with gloss glossy accents. Uh, so that's going to go on there somehow and then I've got a little off of this one. Oh, this was off the other the other one to that out of the other magazine um, there's a little shake your tail feather so I'm going to stamp that but I'm not sure what what I'm going to stamp it on yet <laughs> it's I'll probably be another month before you you ever see this project but mainly I was coming on to you know to say that I think it's a good idea you could put a candle there or there or do something else I just think they're beautiful and you know I mean the the folder where you can do all sorts with the you know you don't have to cut them out but as soon as I saw that they were joined together I don't know why but I just thought I want to do something circular I mean I ended up cutting the the little pieces off anyway but uh, yeah so that's as far as I am with it so this will be a joining together video so I shall hopefully see you when I've got it all finished <laughs> Righty ho, this is what it's turned out like. Um, I have to put a little piece of foam, you can't see it, foam on the back just so because to raise the body up a little bit. And I've got this really weird thing that bugs me. <laughs> you know when you use this I know I'm weird, but you know when you use the foam pads, whether it be big ones, small ones or whatever, well often when you put them on projects, <laughs> you can, if you look around the back, you see the white, don't you? Well, that really bugs me. I think I've got a real problem with white. It doesn't bother me with anybody else's, it's just me. <laughs> when I do something, I can't stand being able to like look down the back there and see white. <laughs> So I either um, go rare if it's like a card, um, if it was a white card background then it wouldn't bother me but if it was a, a dark card and I've got these white pads, no, 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 can't be doing with it so I have to colour it in with Sharpie marker or marker or something but these ones I've just done it with the ink of gold, <laughs> gone round it, <laughs> tediously gone round it, I mean how sad is that, that's pretty sad I know. <laughs> but that's what I've done um, yeah glued it down with my strong glue and put that on a little bit of pad to raise it up and I'm going to have it as just a little wall hanging in this in my craft room and for the back I've decided I don't want a long hanger because I've just not placed that the peacock right for my liking so all I'm going to I thought I'd got some um, of the little metal ring pulls I was going to stick one of them on the back but I've got my two bo big boxes on the floor of all my junky bits and can I can like find these ring pulls so I'm just gonna pop a piece of that just there somewhere somewhere like that just so that it'll hang um, I got this from the tiger shop there's 15 meters for a pound and I'll just show you these quickly. I can't remember whether there's any more colours or not, but I thought, wow, I like those. So I got them on my last trip. I didn't get much on the, my last trip there, but that's what I got. Yes, so that is my altered CD little peacocky wall hanging. And I'm really chuffed with it. I like that. I did think about putting bits of glitter and oh this I wanted I wanted sparkly and I, I couldn't get it how I wanted it um, I stamped it and I got some holographic oh, no don't like that then I stamped it again with clear and the holograph oh that was that was silver uh, embossing pad I'm not really up on embossing and that sort of thing and um, I've got this, you know, got several bits of stuff, but the powders and inks, but I never know what goes with what, so it was a bit trial and error, mainly error. <laughs> uh, that, 
don't like those two. So then I use the clear embossing pad and just a green powder that I've had for absolutely ages. Don't think I've used it actually and I like that now because I wanted it on black. I didn't want white on it. I don't want white. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think that is really, really pretty. Love it. I love it. I think these colours and the sequins that Fran sent me and that um, feather and it's just, I'm really, and they're just my colours. So love it. So that is all. Thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.